Hello and welcome to Akshu's Kitchen. Today we'll see how to prepare chili chicken in the Indo-Chinese style for which we will need the following ingredients to serve approximately 2 to 3 people. 300 grams of chicken fillets cut into small pieces. Some bell peppers or capsicum either just the green bell peppers or mixed peppers anything of your choice. 1 red onion cut into big cubes and two green chilies which I have split into two pieces some red chilli sauce and soya sauce you can also use the chilli and garlic sauce but I personally like the red chilli sauce you can use any chilli sauce of your choice three tablespoons of corn flour one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger and one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic half a teaspoon of white pepper powder quarter teaspoon of sugar quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of ajinomoto that is the Chinese salt and for marinating the chicken one egg one teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste one third teaspoon of white pepper powder quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of ajinomoto that is the Chinese salt first break the egg into the chicken pieces and add the remaining ingredients ginger and garlic paste salt white pepper powder and ajinomoto and mix it well with the chicken pieces and then when all the ingredients are combined add half of the corn flour around about 2 tablespoons more than half and again mix it well with the chicken pieces and allow to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes keep it aside and after 10 minutes I am getting hot oil use medium flame and fry it until they are lightly golden in color need not overcook it just you have to cook the chicken until it done now you can see it is light golden in color I am going to take it out and drain it in a tissue paper and keep it aside the fried chicken is ready now next in a pan I am going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil and when it is hot I am going to fry the 1 tablespoon of ginger and 1 tablespoon of garlic which I have finely chopped and fry it for a minute or two until it loses its raw smell and then I am going to add the peppers that is a capsicum, onions and green chilies and again saute it for a minute need not overcook it just saute it for a minute so that it lightly changes in color but still remains crispy and add the white pepper powder salt sugar and ajinomoto toss it and now it is time you can see that the vegetables have just changed a little bit in color but they retain their crispiness now i am going to add one teaspoon of soya sauce and one teaspoon of chili sauce and mix it well with the vegetables and when they all are combined well I am going to add about half a cup of water the quantity of water depends on the consistency you require today I am going to prepare a dry chili chicken so I am using only minimal water if you need chili chicken gravy you will have to add minimum one cup of water now allow it to come to a boil and add the fried chicken pieces and mix it well with the vegetables and ginger garlic everything allow it to absorb the flavor of all the ingredients previously added and now I have dissolved the remaining corn flour in some water I am going to add just 2 teaspoons of corn water to it and toss it again for a minute and chili chicken is ready it is an excellent side dish with fried rice noodles and also a good starter try it and you will really love it Thank you for watching Akshu's Kitchen.